My question relates to the unlawful deduction of wages and a breach of contract around uh, non-payment of London waiting. So my, my public sector employer doesn't pay me London waiting, even though my base of employment pays London waiting to staff. I'm on the same employment terms as staff who receive London waiting. The only difference is my host employer's base is outside of the London waiting area, but they've placed me with a work base inside the London waiting area. So do I have a case for breach of contract or unlawful deduction of wages? Okay, I'm, I'm afraid I, ju- I just missed the, the clause, the sentence you said before, but they placed me inside the London waiting area. Yeah. What did you say just before yeah. that? So the host employer, their base is outside of the London waiting area, but they placed me in a... So their headquarters is outside of London, but my official work base is within the London waiting area. OK, so it's it's just going to depend on what your contract says, uh, Richard. And I, I haven't yeah. seen your contract, so I don't know. Yeah. There's going to be a collective agreement with, yeah. with a union or, or a joint body of unions, yeah. which is going to explain how the London waiting works. And that will say whether the London waiting uh, is triggered and the conditions that need to be met for that London waiting to be triggered. Now, it will either say, if you work inside the area, you get the London waiting, or it will yeah. say, if the employer is based within the London uh, area, yeah. you get the London waiting. You need to find out what that says. And if it says, if you work within the London area, you get the London waiting, which I would have it thought was the most that. likely option. It does say that, does it? Um, yeah, then then yeah. you're entitled to it. So the way to enforce that, have you tried putting in a grievance, first of all, Richard? Um, I've, I'm in the process of doing that. I'm about to do it. OK, yeah. well, that, that's the first thing to do. Yeah. Hopefully that will deal with it. If not, you can bring a claim in the Employment Tribunal for unlawful deduction from wages. And you yeah. can go, as long as this is something that's happening regularly every month. Yes, uh, it is. It is. Then you get to go all the way back to the beginning of your employment, subject to a two-year cap. But I'm assuming yeah. you've worked for less than two years, or this probably would have been sorted out before. Um I have, however, this is a long-standing issue with other people on the same contract as me. Okay. I think this is the first time they're rais- we're raising it because I guess I feel like it's in- we need yeah. to do it. Yeah. Well, for you, if you've worked for less than two years, you'll get all the money. For others, yeah. uh, they can go back two yeah. years if they go in the employment tribunal, but yeah. they can go back six years if they go in the county court. <laughs> 